First off, I'm going to use some liquid latex to make the scarred cuts. I'm using a toothpick to apply it with. I suggest you take your time for this step, so that you can create very thin lines. My lines weren't that thin in the end, so if I were doing this for a film, for example, I would work a lot slower. If you are working on yourself, you can also try to use a needle for even thinner lines. I didn't use one in this tutorial, because I normally wouldn't suggest using needles on your skin, but if you are working on yourself, you can obviously feel the pressure of the needle and you will most likely not stab yourself. So while our latex is drying and turning translucent as it dries, I'm going to apply some fresh cuts with some rigid collodion. The collodion I just showed has a red colouring added to it. I rarely use this one, but for this tutorial it worked out really well. You can also use normal rigid collodion of course. I'm using a toothpick again to apply the collodion. The collodion does shrink, so don't worry if your line looks a bit too thick. When working with the latex or collodion, you can get some product buildup on your toothpick. So wipe off the excess product in between uses or just take a new toothpick. Take some bright red grease paint and a soft brush. I'm not showing this on camera, but I'm wiping off most of the paint onto my hand, so that there is very little paint on my brush. I will then apply it on the cuts using a stippling motion. This step really helps to make the cuts look more real. Another thing that really helps to make it look more real is to apply some translucent powder on top of the scars. This takes away the shine and hides some of the redness. I have this product called Crusty Blood which I rarely use because I'm not a big fan of the color. But for this tutorial, it looked perfect as dried blood on top of the fresh cuts. The step is optional, of course. You can use some other kind of blood or just some grease paint to add more color to your cuts. I then decided to add a little bit more redness around the fresh cuts with the grease paint I used before. I also decided to add some fresh blood on some of the cuts and that's about it. Uh, this is a very simple tutorial but if you take your time this can look pretty damn real. Uh, I also wanted to add that I always try to make original special effects tutorials 
which can be helpful for beginners or low budget movies or photographers. That's why I decided to make this tutorial. Uh, I hope I didn't insult anyone with this serious subject because I'm very aware of how serious self-harming can be. So please don't take any offense in me making this tutorial. Once again, if you have any questions, suggestions or requests, you can contact me on Facebook or YouTube. Or if you just want to talk, you can also send me a little message. I love reading your comments and messages. And I hope to post something new very soon. So see you guys until next time. Bye.